After just two years back in the top flight, Friedhelm Funkel and Köln knew they must beat an already relegated Schalke and hope results elsewhere went their way to have a realistic chance of staying in the Bundesliga. The home side, unbeaten by the visitors in their last seven league games, were the first to go close. With just over 20 minutes gone, Marius Wolf and Benno Schmitz combined to give Ralf Fehrmann a very scary moment in the Schalke goal in his 200th appearance for the Royal Blues. Köln looked far from confident of beating a side rooted to the bottom of the table since the first match day, and the Royal Blues, with nothing to play for except pride and practice, were happy to cause the hosts no end of frustration and created mischief wherever they could. Matthew Hoppy, newly called up to the US men's national team, went close on the half hour, but was denied by Sebastian Bornau's timely block. Köln's sporting director Horst Held and coach Friedhelm Funkel were impressed by their defenders' first half input. After a no-doubt frank exchange of views at half-time, Köln came out and played with the urgency befitting a relegation-threatened side in need of a goal. They poured on the pressure. Captain Jonas Hector's free kick was steered home by Sebastian Andersson, but after a VAR check, it was ruled out for offside. A decision that, understandably, didn't go down too well with the Köln officials. And that put more pressure on Köln. With five minutes to play, as is often the case in dramatic last-day relegation battles, the key moment arrived as if written by a Hollywood scriptwriter. Defender Sebastian Bornau, whose block had made him the Billy Goats hero in the first half, popped up at the far post to give his team the goal they had so richly deserved. His first of the season secured all three points. And with results going their way in other games, it meant a place in the playoff against the third from top side in Bundesliga 2. And more importantly, Köln's destiny was once again in their own hands.